This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hot vampire Germans, wait, what? Hello humans and thank you for joining me in another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash the like button. Now let's get ready for the show. On today's episode... Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer today on Atlas Mega 10 Monday. Very special occasion here, number one. Number one is we'll be using a capture card for this episode, the very first one. Another episode might air where the capture card is used on Sunday, but this is the actual first episode where I use the capture card to capture video game footage. Big milestone for the channel. Big milestone. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about Operation Darkness, guys. This is a game, if you're an Atlas fan, you know how hard this game is to come by. It's just a very low print run, number one. Number two, controversial believe it or not you know in today's day and age where everybody has extra sensitivities and more feelings about everything the one price that you have to pay for that is creativity and the freedom that developers have to make these different types of games this game is different for a few reasons one of them is that it's one of the very few games where a Japanese publisher is actually putting out there that the Japanese were not on the ally side of the war they were on the Axis side of the war and they're very clear about that in, in this video game something that you wouldn't normally see you know when it comes to World War II happenings most countries that were on the losing end tend to pretend that nothing happened here what, what are you talking about I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> Japanese Empire what, what's that that's right. It, it happens, guys. It's self-censorship. It was a dark time in our history, and, and countries don't like to relive that or address it. You know, um, it's just it's just the way it is. You know, but this game breaks that mold, and it takes a few liberties, of course. I mean, it, it is a game after all. It's just a game. Nobody should be offended by a game, by art, by anything like that. It's just something to put out there. If you don't like it, don't buy it. <laughs> they didn't buy this one. <laughs> And that's why it's so rare and so hard to come by. And man, I'm glad I have it. In this climate today where everything's going bonkers, some people are letting go of their things. And this is one of the very hard games to come by, believe it or not. Um, and I'm glad I have it, man. I've been searching for this game for, jeez, I want to say 14, 15 months straight I've been searching for this game. And I'm happy that I got it. Another eBay find great price I couldn't complain but you know what I can show you better than I can tell you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the intro to the game right now then we'll wrap it up and after that I'll put some gameplay because the chances of you running across this are very few <laughs> all right let's get started mankind's first true encounter with global warfare comes with World War one but it is by no means the last what follows is a century characterized by violence, mistrust, and injustice. The Paris Peace Conference is held at the end of the war on January 18, 1919, by the five victorious allies, the United States, Britain, France, Italy, and Japan. The allies reassign national boundaries and draw up the Treaty of Versailles and various other treaties, imposing considerable war reparations upon Germany. The Germans find themselves humiliated as rising debt and the economic impact of the Great Depression leave their country in a state of hyperinflation, poverty, and mass unemployment. As national despair increases, the doors open wide to invite in a new government. Fueled 
despite bleak economic conditions and an increasing nationalistic fervor, the Nazi party quickly rises to power throughout Germany. Using his charisma to appeal to the masses, party leader Adolf Hitler soon establishes a dictatorship and withdraws Germany from the League of Nations. International tension prevails in mainland Europe as Nazi-ruled Germany begins ignoring key demilitarization clauses of the 1919 treaties. Finally, the Germans invade Poland on September 1st, 1939, marking the beginning of World War II. The German forces advance through Poland with their blitzkrieg tactics and soon gain control of the entire country by the end of September. Within the next year, Hitler's troops seize the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, and France. Meanwhile, Italy and Japan begin their own military campaigns and form a pact with Nazi Germany. Together, their combined forces were known as the Axis. The ambitions of the Axis seemed to be limitless. In June of 1940, Italy begins advancing into North Africa, fighting against British forces. Not long after that, the Germans begin a risky but ultimately unsuccessful invasion into the heart of the Soviet Union. And within the year, Japan launches a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, prompting the United States to finally enter the war on the side of the Allies. And now, in 1942, the Axis powers continue to grow in strength and number as the rest of the world trembles in fear. So that was Operation Darkness. You know, the system gets a little hard to get used to at first. You know, it's a little clunky as far as the view. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. Especially because you get to follow along with the story and it's a good story. It's an interesting story. You know, I'm a big fan of animes in the late 80s, 90s. So it's that type of theme. If you enjoy that, you're going to enjoy this game following it along. Even though the controls take a little bit um, you know, just to, they take a slight learning curve to get to, you know. But, you know, in the end, it's an enjoyable experience. I'm grinding through it. You know, in today's environment where everybody's so sensitive about everything, the price we pay is that we don't let creators create in games like this one. They're just not going to make them anymore. That's one of the reasons I like collecting and collecting old games and games that have a little bit of a history. Like I said, this one does. 
and it's so hard to come by and I'm really really glad that I got it because it's another example on how the industries change and not for the better. I hope it goes back. I hope we learn from our mistakes and keep making good games in the future. Give the creators the freedom to create. Never be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.